today we will see that how uh, we can convert our standby SQL server for read only access so for this uh, first we need to disable the two jobs which uh, scheduled which is scheduled in standby server yeah one is copy job disabled it and restore job Now the left session is of primary database session and the right one is standby database session. Okay. If right now if I try to execute the select query I will get error. Definitely. Because right now it is in restoring state, that means in other words you can say it in mount mode. So we cannot access DB objects. So first we need to convert. So we need to go to primary server, select the database, right click on it, go to task, go to ship transaction logs. Here you need to modify the standby database settings. So click on three dots. It will ask standby database server credentials. Provide here. here go to restore transaction log tab and just select this option standby mode and take this option also if you don't take this option then the logs will not be applied if any user session is uh, access accessing the database okay, it will wait access uh, when the uh, session will be closed then only log will be applied so we take this option so SQL server will automatically disconnect those sessions and click on ok you can click on ok sometimes you get this error so no issue uh, this is due to intermittent network issue just close here and now enable these jobs this copy job and the restore job now you will wait 10 seconds and you will observe here that it will change from restoring to standby slash read only access uh, we will refresh here after 10 seconds it will is its status will be changed yeah so it's, its status modified to standby slash read only so now our database is open for read access now in primary let's insert some data in this table let's check whether there are data or not okay it does not have any data so i i need to insert some rows okay four rows inserted select this now we will execute this query in standby so this is my standby session if i execute here you see right now there is no data don't no issue we need to wait 10 seconds So I think uh, now it should reflect. Yeah. So now data is reflecting in the standby database. So by this way, you can uh, use your standby database server for read read only access. Okay. Or you can connect your standby server with those applications which are only used for reporting purpose. Okay. So hope this video help helped you. Okay. Thank you.